All right, come on, Sam Howell. Let's see what's going on. So y'all way behind, way behind. Don't jump a gun. Watch Dax pull a hammy and be unavailable for six games. We already on commercial. Dax catching girls and passes. <laughs> I hate y'all. I already know. I already knew the Dax Milne jokes was about to fly all all season. It's probably never gonna stop. To be completely honest, probably permanent, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Probably a permanent thing. I'm not gonna lie. Dax Milne jokes with the mom stuff. He ain't never gonna lay that down. He probably doesn't want to. Milne taking spots on Rosses and taking girls with a W. Here we go. The commander said this is only the second punt for the Panthers today. The Washington guy said, did you have to say that? <laughs> it's bad, bruh. I mean, I've been talking so much I can barely hear them talking. Even though I am listening to the game while I'm watching it, I've been talking to y'all so much I can barely hear Doc Walker in them. I, I can't. I just can't even. I can I just. I'm talking too much. I'm doing too much talking, not enough listening. Um, I hate y'all in the comments. <laughs> Milne got got that last receiver spot. No, that no, it's not even the last one. You could argue Dax Milne may be above Cam Sims just off of what we've seen in training camp so far. But at the very least, the very furthest down, he's behind Cam Sims, the sixth receiver. And if we keep seven, who knows who the other guy is? But right now, Dax Milne is the sixth. I want to see Mark and Michelle compete because I'm not gonna lie, Mark and Michelle may actually be leading our. Our receivers and touchdowns this offseason. Like, he's been making play after play. I want to see him make a play with Sam Howell today. And I ain't mean to even drop a bar like that. I ain't even mean to rhyme, bruh. It's just so natural. I can't help myself. All right, what's going on, man? Fans look uninterested on their phones and stuff. <laughs> All right, come on, offense. Let's get it, man. I want to see some Sam Howell greatness. Let's see some Sam Howell greatness. The Sam Howell versus Matt Corral duel. It, I'm surprised that's not being hyped up more around the NFL, but it is what it is. I like the play call. That was Kyrick McGowan there. Interesting. How Zach injured himself. Bruh, he made like a weird cut. Jonathan Allen is such a leader. Where is Mark and Yeah, I want to see Mark and Michelle. I'm wondering the same thing. Why is Mark and Michelle not getting the ball more? I want to see Mark and Michelle on this field more. Way more than I've seen him. Shout out to Washington fans. I hope y'all do good this year. What's good, Captain Taki? What, what team are you a fan of? Appreciate you pulling up, man. Let's see. Uh... Let's see, man. Good little run. Second and two. I'm saying that we already got the first down, but I haven't seen it yet, so. Let's see, let's see what Dax do. Wow. Come on, Sam. Let's get a pass to TD. Oh, my. Look at the clips. Flag. Wait, I don't know what's going on. I'm behind, so I don't know what y'all are talking about. I have no idea what everybody's upset or happy about. I don't know what's going on. Wait, deep bomb? Wow. Oh, wow. That's a flag because you can't go out of bounds and come back in. You can't step out of bounds and come back in. That's the flag. Come on, Harmon. Harmon, you are fighting to make this team. You are on the outside looking in. You got to. even. And that was a slight underthrow by Sam Howell. I would have preferred that to be higher because the DB definitely had a chance to make that play. But, yeah, Kelvin Harmon, you got to make that catch. It, that looks really poorly on you, bro. That looks very poorly on you, man. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm not mad at that throw, though. I would have liked a little bit more on it. But, yeah, Harmon, you got to catch that, bro. He think he George Pickens. He think he could just drop it and, and catch it after it almost hits the ground like my boy George Pickens. Against third string by Harmon. <laughs> Harmon, you got to catch them, my boy. You got to catch them, bro. You got to catch them. Let me see what Sam Howell doing, man. Let's see what's going on, man. Oh, no. How did he escape that? Okay, how? I'll take it. Offensive line is trying to Willie Beam in my boy from any given Sunday right now. But my boy Sam Howell, man, hey, the one advantage to being short. There you go. Man was able to duck down a little bit. Man, duck down right under everybody. Nobody was ready for that. No, they weren't. My boy Sam Howell wasn't playing with y'all, man. 
My boy said I was not playing with y'all, man. Was not playing with y'all boys, man. Come on, let's go. Let's see what's going on now. Let's go, Sam Howell. Let's see what you got. Love the throw. Love the vision. Love the vision. I love the fact that he read the field. He was looking left and right and then threw a dot to the receiver. I appreciate it, man. Good job. My boy Kyrick McGowan making plays now. Even though I really want to see some Mark and Michelle, though. What's going on with my boy Mark and Michelle right now? Where is he at? He's been balling all offseason, getting touchdowns and everything. Get the ball to my boy Mark and Michelle right now. Please. But good throw to Kyrick McGowan, though. Good job getting open. Really good throw by Sam Howell. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot, a lot. Kyrie McGowan looked like a bunch of people I know. Like at least eight. Okay, there we go. Is that Mark and Michelle? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sam Howell to Mark and Michelle. Let's go. Sam Howell, I told you. I've been telling y'all for a while now. Sam Howell's going to ball out enough to where there's going to definitely be enough fans that feel like we need to go ahead and start him now. And I think it's a – but I think at the very least there's a good argument that he should probably be second string, bro. T T Taylor Heineke did not look good today. <laughs> Taylor Heineke did not look good. And Sam Howell is out here balling. You know what I'm saying? My boy Sam Howell is doing his thing. What's going on? Let me see. Okay. Okay, he didn't like what he saw running. Is he running? Oh, that little pump fake killed the D. Oh, oh, that pump fake killed the DB like that and made him fall like this. What happened? What happened to you? What happened to you? Let's go. Let's go, my boy Lamar Howell. Let's get it. Outplay Matt Corral. Outplay Taylor Heineke. Let's get it. Yes, sir, my boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it started. It's already begun. It's already blessed. Stop playing. Oh, he juked the oh, he juked that linebacker out of his socks. You ain't had to do that linebacker like that. You could have made that touchdown without doing him dirty like that. You could have ran to the right. You ain't had to, you ain't had to do that in front of his kids like that, bro. The, the kids are watching. He, he's got a family. Come on, Sam Howell. Linebacker's got a family, bro. You gotta be better than that. You gotta you gotta be better than that. Come on now. You ain't have to do him like that. He had all of that space to the right. He was like, well, while I'm on the way, let me break you off real quick and I'm gonna hit this touchdown. Real quick. He ain't have to do that. That linebacker. <laughs> God leave, man. I love it though. I'm so happy Sam Howell looks good. Yes, sir. This is what I wanted. This is why we gotta celebrate again. We gotta clap it up again, man. That boy Sam Howell is different. Looks good throwing, looks good running, but most importantly, he looks really good mentally. He's reading the defense. He's not making ill-advised throws. He's going through his progressions on that Kyrick McGowan play. You saw him look at like two other receivers it looked like, and then Kyrick McGowan was the third one. Hey, man, I'll take it. I'll take it, man. I like what I'm seeing from Sam Howell, bro. Taylor Heineke, I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, Taylor Heineke, Sam Howell on your head. I ain't gonna lie, Antonio Gibson, Brian Robinson's on your head. It's ugly. I'm not gonna lie, it's ugly for a couple of people on this team. Some guys behind them on the depth chart are making more plays. I'm And I'm so happy I'm hearing great things about Percy Butler. We couldn't really see it from our view, but people at the game on Twitter are talking about it because they can see everything. We can't really see what the secondary is doing as game uh, play to play, especially if they're not thrown towards. But even on plays that Percy Butler was not being thrown towards, he was locking people up from what I'm hearing. I didn't see it myself, but uh, I'm really happy. He said, I'm laughing out loud, bro. He didn't have to, bro. He got a family, bro. That linebacker, I don't know who he is, but he has a family. Like, and how you going to pump fake eight yards past the line of scrimmage? Like, why did the linebacker fall for that? He was eight yards past the line of scrimmage, um, closer to the touchdown than he was the line of scrimmage. Man, pump fake linebacker, like, oh, where we at? And then just looking crazy, bro. It couldn't be me. That's all I know. It couldn't be me. I couldn't be him. I'm not going to lie. Uh, my boy Brian with another donation. I appreciate it. I am a Tar Heel fan, so I'm loving this for Sam Howe. Oh, it's even sweeter for you. I feel it. It's even sweeter for you. I wish we had some Georgia Bulldogs on this team for me to, to root for on another level like that, man. I, and I'm, I'm rooting for Sam Howe. 
I really hope he's really good. But I know for y'all that are Tar Heel fans, this has to be magical. I wish we would throw De'Ami Brown back out there so that we could have Sam Howell to De'Ami Brown footage. But they're not going to do that again. Like I said, even before the game started, De'Ami Brown's too high on the depth chart to even be out there with Sam Howell. Sam Howell's with the third stringers. De'Ami Brown's too good to be out there with the third stringers. Right now, it looks like Sam Howell's too good to be out there with the third stringers. Can he be with the second team from now on and practice all of that? Can we just go ahead and move Sam Howell up the depth chart? Panthers wishing they drafted him. Jamin Davis, FedEx, FedEx player of the game. Linebacker thought he was going to throw an eight-yard pass the line of scrimmage like Fitzpatrick. Bro, I don't know what he thought was about to happen, but it wasn't the right decision. He was wrong mentally, and his ankles melted. I don't know what happened to his ankles. The fact that he fell like that, it looked like AI got to him. Go back in the chat and check when I said Sam Howell and Robinson is going to be our guy. You did say that a while ago. I remember you saying that. I don't remember when because there's been too many comments, but said Panthers wish it. Mentor on playbook and scheme. You have coaches in the league that cannot throw nor tackle. It is about understanding the scheme, family. Can we pair Howell with De'Ami Brown from now on? Bro, I want to see De'Ami Brown out there, but we're not going to do it. We're just not going to do it. It's just he's too high up the depth chart, but I would really love to see it. All right, well, what's that, second and nine, second and ten? Look at Corral trying to do the, yeah, Corral, yeah, Corral can't do what Sam Howell do. Stop trying it. Stop playing with us. Stop. <laughs> you can't do what Sam Howell just did. Stop. You're not about to run up the middle and for them yards. You ain't about to break our linebackers off like that. Our linebackers don't go for that. Our linebackers don't go for that. I don't know what the Panthers linebackers on. I don't know how they were raised, but our linebackers don't go for that. I don't know. That's just me. I don't know couldn't be me i could i couldn't get broke off like that while everybody's watching not while my mom's watching me i i, I just couldn't I, something else will have to happen on that play willis y'all know willis i'm the biggest willis fan you're gonna meet period outside of his family it, i'm no bigger fan than me and i'm happy that he did make some plays but overall he was like all right a couple of his passes that weren't intercepted should have been intercepted and overall it was like a decent game it was highs and some lows uh, Matt Corral has looked, you know, not terrible, but he hasn't looked like Sam Howell. Oh, yeah. Sam Howell missed that throw right there, though. Sam Howell missed that throw right there, even though it probably wouldn't have went anywhere anyway. And it probably was better off as an incompletion rather than a loss of two. That was still not a good throw right there by Sam Howell on that short, short little screen. But I'm loving what I'm seeing from Sam Howell, y'all. I'm absolutely. Brian Robinson over AG? Well, today, right now, yeah. I mean, we'll see. I'm pretty sure Antonio Gibson's still going to be the starter until further notice, but that man Sam Howell is doing his thing, and I'm really happy about it, man. I'm really happy. Ah, slight overthrow. Slight overthrow. Slight overthrow. Slight, slight overthrow. But I like the fact that he attempted that throw and gave him a chance. But you got you to gotta be a little bit more accurate than that. A little bit more accurate. Let me see, Let me see it again, though. But yeah, the backup offensive line is terrible. Like, look, he has to see that guy running at his knees while he's trying to throw the ball. He couldn't even step into the throw. But the fact that he was able to get that much into it without stepping up to for his throw is crazy. Real crazy. <laughs> Real kind of crazy. Oh, good throw. Who is that? Good throw. Good catch. Bonifant, hey, I mean, technically didn't make up for it, but still, good catch. Great throw by Sam Howell there, though. Because he didn't even get that much separation or nothing. That was just a really good throw. I didn't see any real separation there. That corner was on. <laughs> We're going for it? Okay. I'm hearing that we got it. Okay. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Sam Howell, bro. I... I mean, I came into the game, and I've been telling everybody for weeks, for months now, that Sam Howell's probably going to ball out in the preseason, especially against third stringers. But um, he's looked really good regardless, and I'm really happy about it. All right, good first down. Let's get it. First and go. Let's get it. What do you think about Wentz? Uh, I mean, basically, Wentz, uh, he... 
I'm more optimistic after this game before I came into this game. Even though he wasn't spectacular, again, I'm really happy to see him take the easy plays. That's the that's the biggest takeaway today from Carson Wentz. He took the easy plays. He he went through his progressions. He stood tall in the pocket, pocket even when there were defenders around him. And he made the smart plays. He took the easy plays, and that's what we need. That's what we need. I, I Okay, okay, Jared Patterson, good, good blocking, good dive. That's a touchdown, right? They going to give us that or are they going to say second and goal? I'm not going to lie. I do want Sam Howe to get the touchdown. I prefer Sam Howe. I prefer Sam Howe. Dog Walker is hilarious as an announcer. Yeah, Doc Walker should have been an announcer. I don't know why it took this long. We all knew that. We all knew that. Wait, Sam Howe? Wait, Sam Howe's about to be the one? Sam Howe's about to be the one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't stop Sam Howell at goal line. You can't stop Sam Howell at goal line. <laughs> yes, sir. My boy Sam Howell, man. He's looking really good, man. This post-game live stream is going to be really fun. Just to let everybody know, I pro I'm going to hold a post-game live stream after this, and I'm going to open up the phone lines for y'all to call in. Y'all know how it goes. If this would have been like a depressing game, I probably wouldn't have done this. But the game, we have so many positive takeaways, most notably Brian Robinson and Sam Howell. 